Hi guys, welcome back to the Scout Defender YouTube video. It's an exciting one at that because I'm in Scout, ready to drive over to the ORE HQ where I'm going to be meeting up with Chris where we're going to fit the new ORE NAS rear step. Now in last week's video, I spoke a little bit about how the old school tow hitch that we currently have fitted to Scout is a real pain when we're off-roading. It gets in the way, it's far too long, it means it grinds out when we go down rock steps or basically anything that's got a slight uphill or downhill incline, it just gets totally in the way and it's getting totally mashed up. So we're going to remove that and we're going to also remove the old school crusty folding step. We don't use that and obviously if we've got a new NAS step in its place that's much better and much easier to use. So we're going to remove those. Hopefully it's going to be easy to do, although they've been on the car since it was new, so there's going to be a lot of rusty corroded bolts to try and uh, to try and remove. I'm going to go and find the steering wheel so we can actually get going on the road to go and meet Chris, and then I'll catch up with you there where we'll start the install. Right guys, today I'm featured on Scout the Defenders YouTube channel. This is a bit strange. Normally I'm doing terrible videos, but this time we've got a pro behind the camera. Anyway, so today we're fitting our ORE style rear step on Scout the Defender. And it'll just give you a quick run through of what you get in the kit. So we've just taken it unpackaged it all. Obviously it comes in our awesome packaging, as you know. So basically, we tried to do something a little bit different as, as we do with most of our products. And one of the common issues I kept coming up against when people were asking me about a rear step system was the towing arrangement. And most on the market, if not all of them, in, incorporate their own towing systems, which comes in, uh, with lots of issues with TUV approvals, etc., etc., etc. So what we've done is we've got a middle section that pops out and allows you to use the existing factory tow setup. So if you've got a towing system that looks like this, which I believe is factory defender, the only bit we're changing is this piece here, which is this piece here. Now again, already being a bit different, we've got our anti-slip coating military specification on our wing tops, as you've probably seen at some of the shows and on our website. And we've also incorporated this into the system as well, just it's a bit more durable and harder wearing. And we've also done away with the need for the end cap mountings. And the reason for that is, on the later vehicles, if you've got rear seats, you've got the seat belt mountings here. Now I don't want to get involved with safety critical bolts. And most of them have been on the car so long that when they're, they're corroded, they'll snap and shear off. So we've done away with that altogether. So we've tried to make it as simple to fit. Also, if you want to use your existing towing system, you simply remove the section and you'll have full access to your towing system. So we'll look at uh, the basic bit of the kit and how it goes together. Okay, so in the kit, you've got your tread plates, your center section, we've got a high lift jack point mounting here. So we've got no ugly tube here. This literally, keep this in your car when you need, if you need to um, use your high lift jack. You've got, you've got exactly the same spec as what was in the cross member. So, of the two longer bolts in the kit, these are for the males that go on the underside of the removable section. And how these simply go is, it's important not to over tighten these because they are nylocks. Simply spin them on like so and just tighten them up. They don't need to be mega tight. For the benefit of this, we're just going to leave them a little bit loose because the holes in the top are slotted and also the holes in here are slotted just to get a better alignment and we'll, we'll tighten them up when it's on the car and it's all in situ. So, we're just putting the rest of the bolts in, it's really straightforward. Back fixings in the top, We've got washers underneath and nylocks there. This corner, this corner one's a bit fiddly, so I'd have probably done this first rather than last, but like so, and then we'll tighten that up. Okay, so now that we've um, Assemble the step. So we've got the females on here loose so we can we can set them around the car. We've got the males on the underside of the removable step loose, we'll set them out again on the car. These are on here tight, no need to go mad with uh, over tightening these, they're on nylocks, they're not going to go anywhere. We'll simply remove the uh, toe uh, hitch off the car and they simply go through the jack shoes and the cross member there, bolt straight on. Okay, so now that the step's uh, assembled and ready to go on the car, if you've got a, a factory tow system like this, simply all we're going to do is remove these bolts here and these bolts here, take this plate off. And there's a plate here at the back, it's a basically a right angle bracket with three bolts in there, one either end and one in the middle. We're going to remove that because our step system incorporates this already. We'll mount the step system on, put the three bolts back in 
and then if you look, the stays are hanging here we'll basically put this plate back on those two bolts and those two bolts and that's it Right guys, so after lots of swearing, you will get these bolts out. This will come away like this. You're going to remove this, there's three bolts here. I'm going to go for a cup of tea or a beer and come back and then attempt this because you'll need lots of patience because these bolts tend not to want to come out. And then this, this piece is already incorporated in our new step system. Oh, okay. Copper slip. This is the only Land Rover I've ever known where all the stuff off the cross motor comes off without needing oxyacetylene, gas, big hammers, swearing. <laughs> Scrap bins are getting full today. <laughs> right guys, now Zach doesn't want his uh, tow bar back on because he left most of it in Elam Valley, scraping rocks up on, on, the, on the trail, shall we say. But if you are putting your towing system back on, you've got the, the factory system, this would literally slot on like so. Obviously, it works with our rear, rear tow system. You put your three bolts back in there, and then this simply slides in and bolts, bolts back, into, back into place like so. So put the three bolts here, 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 back in, we've copper slipped them. Before you pull it, just pull it up tight, but not, not tight with the rattler or torque it up, so to speak. We're gonna put these two in here. So now that we've put the three in down there, before we tighten the right up, what we're gonna do, now that these tubes are in here, on the back of here, we're gonna bolt these into the end of this uh, tube, stay if you like, we're gonna gently pull this up against the cross member and make sure both sides are even because in the manufacturing process of chassis with the welding sometimes there's a bit of distortion and they can be slightly bowed. A stainless is a nasty habit of binding for those that you don't know, I'm not telling anyone to suck eggs. So I always put a bit of some form of lubricant, a bit of copper slip. There are um, proper stainless anti-seize paces. This is just this is obviously stainless so it doesn't grow because it's in the back of the cross member and it'll rot and it's obviously going into mild steel so I'm just going to put a bit of copper slip on it just to make sure it's not going to bind up or foul and if we need to take it out it should come out nice and easy. So once it's on it's bolted in situ, at this point if you were putting your um, factory tow system back on, your stays would still be in situ and you would simply just put the, the bolts you took out back in exactly the same places and the centre section will fit in around this. Okay, so when you've, when you've set the slots this way with the females and the slots that way with the males, Gently nip everything up, don't over tighten anything. I should pop in and out smoothly like that. Also, I find a little bit of grease in here helps as well. Rear steps on. If you had the um, factory toner arrangement on, it would look like so. And if you wanted to tow, obviously you need more height for the hitch. You simply just pop that out and you can hitch your car on like so. Rather than make it with an ugly tube underneath or an extension that's going to fill it with mud. We've come up with this idea, it's again, nobody else does this in the market. There's two lugs under here, it simply sits in here, it's not going to go anywhere, they're like M8. 
just make sure you leave that in your cubby box. there you have it guys that is the install of the ORE NAS rear step I'm really happy with the final look choosing to remove the tow bar completely because I don't do any of any towing and also uh, removing of that old crusty folding rear step means that the back of the truck now looks really clean and that NAS rear step still functional but also looks really stylish on the back of Scout so I'm really happy with that thanks to Chris for installing it for me it made putting out a video much easier and uh, much less time consuming so thank you to Chris it was a good day at the ORE HQ and also we're going to be at a few shows coming up so I'm hoping that this video will go out on Friday this weekend coming we're going to be at Land Rover Live so if you're there please come over and say hello check out the truck and check out any of the bits that I've been adding and, and documenting during these videos be sure to come over and say hi and we're going to be at a few other shows over the course of the year too so whether that's Billing or Peterborough so please make sure you come and say hi if you're at any of those I'd love to meet you all and I'll see you in the next video where we've got some more upgrades planned uh, and much more exciting things to be doing to Scout so I'll see you then.